Hi, today I would like to talk about uh, writing a, a simple program to do merge sort in Java. So let's get started. The concept is actually quite simple. You take an array and divide it up at the midpoint and um, essentially divide it up again like this. And then uh, in the reverse backup stage, you would combine uh, a sorted array. So this is a sorted array 3 and 10, 925 and this is a sorted array and you combine it and the way to combine this is you take the smaller one obviously from one of these and then put it in there then you check against uh, 10 and 9 and whichever is the smaller you put in there then you do again and if it is smaller put it in here and so on and then you have this array and then you have this array and it ends up combining so it does use recursion but that's the basic concept so let's get started uh, in terms of I put it in the class merge sort and you usually uh, need do need a temporary array to store the data so I've created a temporary array that I can use and you call it by sorting from 0 through the length minus 1 uh, here basically if high is less than or equal to low we return we find the midpoint as I discussed then you sort from low to the midpoint recursively and also sort from mid plus 1 point to the high point recursively and then the main concept here is to do the merge of the sorting arrays you given a low point, the midpoint, and the high, and you have to merge those arrays. So just to check here, I'm just printing it out so you can see the low, mid, zero, high. So that's all it is. Uh, basically, we take the incoming data and copy it into the temporary. And when we do the merge operation, we're going to copy all of this back into data. So the way it works is you set uh, one of the pointers that is moving through an array i1 to be the low and then i2 would be essentially the mid plus one midpoint and plus one so you set it up and then this cursor is going to go from the low point all the way till the high point and you increment this cursor all the time so you do a couple of checks here basically if uh, you're doing the check and the i1 has moved equal to mid plus one that means the low sub list has already completed so all we need to do is just copy data from the high high uh, sub list and that's what this is doing data current is equal to temp i2 because i2 is scanning through the second sub list or high sub list you copy it from there this is uh, similar if the high sub list is completed then you copy data from the low sub list and then there comes the operation here if the comparison from the i1 is greater than um, the i2 that means we have to swap it uh, you will take into the merge list from i1 and increment that otherwise you have to take it from the i2 and increment that and verify is just a function that verifies that this is working uh, so let me just uh, uh, show you how to do this we'll call a merge sort and we put in this array this is the example array and I can just run it for you for a second and here you can see as I said it's going to print uh, all the zero the high point midpoint this is like the starting if you want to see the reverse and you can see how this is being recursively uh, first things happening and then the verification is okay if you want to know more <laughs> about this uh, you could also look in the wikipedia and look for merge sort they use slightly different uh, algorithms uh, but the one I've used is actually quite simple and easy to follow. And if you want to know more, you can go to my website and search for uh, various uh, uh, videos under Java. And hopefully you have enjoyed it. And thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.